Usually, usually it rains when when we talk about sun people. <laughs> yeah, not not in Berlin. Yeah, we're good today. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we break the curse finally. Hi there, Blockrebellen here and with Nicodemus. I'm very glad to have him here. Hi, Nico. Hello. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Uh, you're here uh, in Berlin right now. Where have you been before? Um, I just arrived from New York. I was at the Fusion Festival up in Lars in the north. Um, and uh, I played there with the Salon del Baile, which is uh, La Chusma crew from Berlin. Uh, they built a beautiful stage within the, the airport hangar of the Fusion Festival and dedicated it to like uh, very Latin, the Latin side of uh, music, Latin acoustic and elect electronic. And, uh, and it was amazing. It was definitely one of the best festivals and experiences I've had in a long time. Have you been there before or was it your first Fusion? It was my first Fusion, yeah. I was... Uh, I was virginized. <laughs> you want to come again? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, very nice. And what is your next station here in Europe? Uh, I've seen you're on tour, European tour. What are your next stations here? Yeah, I'm going to go down to the south of France tomorrow to set. Uh, there's a Giles Peterson does the Worldwide Festival, which is is really an honor. And it's like um, it's an, an important festival for any DJ or musician. It's because it's like all the all the my favorite acts and it, it's a particular thing you know for me it's it's very special because all my favorite acts are there and and uh to be invited to play there is is uh, is, is quite an honor uh, giles peterson's one of the biggest taste makers in in the world really he's uh his radio show and his music tastes for years as as far as i can remember has always been at the top of the list so um, I'll be playing with him down in set and Lefto and At Jazz, also great DJs and producers that I know for many years. So uh, that's next, and then on and on uh, Ibiza for more of a club night, late late club night for the Moon People. That's the Moon People one, and uh, and then on and on as as um, as it always goes. I go to Spain, Barcelona. Um, uh, San Sebastian, um, Spain has been really good over the years. They've been very receptive, and I've made a lot of good friends there. And and uh, I love the food, so uh, it all works out. Yeah. So more vaca vacation than working, working vacation like yeah. Yeah. European tour. So you you speak about music and 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 good taste. Um, I want to speak about your music because that's why you're here. <laughs> and how, can you tell me something about your music style you're producing? What what would you call it? What kind of music is this? Um, well, it's, it's definitely rooted in cu club culture. So it's it's like it's dance music. It's for the club. It's for like you know dance parties and uh, for the most part. I mean, there's it, when I'm doing an album, I'm thinking of a whole concept usually. Like so, not every song is for the club, but. Um, for the most part, uh, it's been to this point very organic. A lot of musicians uh, involved, a lot of friends that I meet along the way in travels, and also from New York who play, you know, various instruments that fit over my kind of electronic beats. Everything from house to dub to hip hop, uh, based. But then, you know, we in, we have sounds from from uh, the Middle East or from Persia or from Africa, West Africa, uh, from hip hop, you know, like lyrics. Um, so I never really limit it. I just, I just keep it open and if, if there's a concept involved, try to do whatever it takes to make that concept realized, you know, musically. Um, and then, uh, you know, I've been dabbling a little bit more in, in electronics and, and going a little deeper with, with the sound which is the new album I'm working on, which is Moon People. And I can see that direction 
you know, something that's been in my blood since I'm very young in the clubs and DJing and, and playing house music and hip hop and stuff. And techno even and, you know, acid house. So I can see that being kind of like the beginning of another level into deeper club culture and, and electronics. So you would say, because you, you spoken about this organic stuff and from different culture, um, so you you explain it in some sentence now, and you you would say that um, you know the labels, the big labels, always call this kind of music world music. You know, would you agree with that, or would you say no? There's something other going on, and it's not only world music. It's I don't know what it is. You know, in 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 speaking global, you know, you get a lot of uh, influences of different kind of part of the world. Yeah, sure. I mean, I guess as an overview, uh, it's easier to term things that are very eclectic and mixed up. Like it is one song, like I actually on the Sun People album, I had maybe like seven or eight languages. So it's easier to just say. So may I stop here right now? Our breakfast is coming. So we're going to have breakfast right now. And Nico wants his French toast and... I got some fruits. Thank you very much. Bon appetit. You can you can eat uh, if you want. And are we making a break? This makes a very a very good display. Yeah, yeah, it's very <laughs> nice. And after we'll finish, we will just put it away. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and um, you you work a lot with uh, with artists around the globe. And how do you get in touch with them? Uh, well, it, it's a combination of people I know from from being around uh, different scenes in New York and as well just traveling. So, you know, for example, maybe uh, we record with some people I would meet on the road, like the Taraf the High Dukes from, from, um, from Romania or like, I don't know, just MCs like uh, from Beirut. Or you know, it just depends wherever I am. If if the if the feeling is right and and the people are easy to work with, that's really my main thing. Is I only really work with people who who are kind of you know just easy going, and you know I, I'm not trying to get involved with like really famous you know the whole you know managers and the stress of you know if it if it works if it's easy and it works, then then we go with the flow um, pretty much and. And what was the reason you you got your own label right now, uh, Wonder Wheel Records? Is there a special reason you grounded this uh, label? Yeah, it's really for just the creative freedom to do whatever we want, when we want. And um, I have a lot of friends that are also making music. Uh, the Spy from Cairo, Zeb, and, and you know uh, sometimes a lot of people in record labels they don't really get it they they're not they're not going to turn they're not going to say oh yeah arabic dub is going to sell really well so you know they they they're, they're going to be the ones that say usually uh mm, there's no hits on here there's no vocals uh you know but uh so when i started the label i just thought this is just for us and and i'm not really stressed about Uh, selling units as much you know it's 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 for our creative freedom and if I like it and if my friend you know he Zeb the spy from Cairo is one of the main contributors to the label as well and and anything he does I trust so it's uh, you know it's just for for us to put it out there to the world and some people like it but it's definitely not a huge you know label it's not music that's accessible to everybody really <laughs> i think you're speaking of the bottom of the heart of a lot of musicians they want to do stuff for you know creative reasons um and that's nice to have a have a the opportunity uh, to have the own label to ground an own label can you tell me something about this project the spray from cairo was it produced in cairo or in new york uh no it was it's produced in new york um, by Zeb, I I aka Zeb, who has made tons of electronic music and he plays everything. He plays guitar, he, he programs, plays the bass. Uh, on this album, he's playing uh, predominantly the Egyptian oud, um, which uh, was made 
by Shim Simon Shaheen's brother. He makes a lot of ouds. Um, and he's playing the chifteli, the saz, any sort of string instrument he can get his hands on. He's working into this, this electronically produced dub music. It's very Jamaican dub. It, that is the sound like at first you're going to recognize from the drums to the effects to the bass. But then all the instrumentation is from North Africa, the Middle East, Turkey. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's quite a project. It, for me, when I heard it, it's, I, don't, I don't really hear anything else like it. So um, I enjoy it to the fullest. It's, it's my favorite right now. And, and uh, you know, I think it's actually picking up a lot. A lot of people are starting to recognize. He had a very good article in National Geographic and all these different people are, are kind of appreciating the fact that we're taking the risk to do this type of thing, you know. So it's political. It's, uh yeah, I thought, okay, is it, is it a political reason to call this spy from Cairo? Because it is so hot right now to talk about Cairo and, and, and almost a spy there. And I thought, okay, he was, he was there and then he made this uh, album there, but it isn't like this. You, you, met, you met the artist there in New York or was it, a, yeah. yeah? Well, he, he's, from, he, he's, he's from all different places, but he's been living in New York for 20 years. And uh, the whole spy from Cairo is, is, was a joke in a way because uh, when everything was happening with 9-11 and, and all that, um, he, he basically came up with a, this uh, song called Don't Panic, I'm Islamic. You know, and like by the spy from Cairo. You know, that was his kind of, uh, his, his name of the song and, and album you know, back in whenever that, that happened, maybe 2001 or whatever. And then, you know, he just, uh, I think the more he started getting into Arabic music and playing the oud, which became his passion, he, real, he realized that he couldn't go by the name Zeb because uh, that means penis in Arabic. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. But there, there exists an album, Zeb, isn't it? Yeah, I, yeah, I know it. Yeah, no, he makes a lot. He's made maybe, I would say, like five albums under this name. And he is Zeb, that's his name, and, and everyone knows him as this. But uh, if he was going to make strictly Arabic music, he decided he had to change his name. <laughs> so well, he would tell you this. That's why I'm saying it, I, you know. So uh, anyway. Yeah. So let's talk about your album. You, you made uh, three right now. Which one was the first? I can remember the name. Uh, Endangered Species was my first album. And that was coming from a lot of different 12 inches that I was doing. These were gifts. I would never really take myself seriously as a producer. As a DJ, yes, I, I can say like I've DJed for many years. I'm very confident as a DJ. As a producer, you know, I would just like make songs for people as a gift. Like, okay, hey, I made you this song, you know, hey, I made you this song. And it was more like that. And then we started, uh, you know, people were liking them and, you know, as things go, yeah, it started growing. So I put all those songs together in an album called Endangered Species, which were like kind of for the people I was making it for. They were like my special people, the people who are like endangered in this world of, you know, change and everything. So um, then I went and uh, it took me three years to make the next one, which was uh, Sun People. Also with similar collaborations. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice work. Uh, and then um, that was, you know, more for, you know, festive spirit and kind of an outgoing feeling of live percussion, live musicianship. Uh, outdoor parties that we do in New York. Yeah, it was to reflect that. Uh, yeah, yep, Sun Children, featuring the real live show, which one of the MCs actually lives here now, in Berlin. He just moved here. His name is Stimulus. Yes. <laughs> He's great. He's much better at interviews than I am, <laughs> so he'd be good. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was with the Real Live Show, and they actually are on every album so far. And the, th the third one, which is Moon People, they did actually the title track, Moon People, yeah. 
Um, they're special for this, uh, getting a concept across. If I have this concept, okay, the sun people, okay, the moon people, they they take care of it. They went right in and 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 um, took care of the concept. So like the lyrics are really perfect. They explain what's going on in both albums and and uh, we're gonna make a video hopefully soon on that too. Yeah. Maybe we maybe we might now a uh, break for breakfast and then go on with some other questions or okay. We are finished with our breakfast and yeah, and um, we talked very nice. So, um, coming back to this um, music part, do, would you say there is a melting pot right now on the world or is there a place on the world where this music, this kind of music you're doing is coming, is, is you know, like a melting pot? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, music has always been a uniter of people, whether in the clubs or in, you know, cult different cultures. I mean, the best thing about it is every to every city I go, I feel like there's a little scene built around any a type of music. And in particular, the music that we're doing, I'm starting to see more and more pockets of, of uh, DJs and clubs that are focusing on a more eclectic uh, sound from you know all different genres you know from everything from Balkan to reggae to uh, hip hop uh, house like kind of these mixes and and that's that's refreshing to see so yeah I mean you could say it's pretty much of a melting pot uh, musically you know and is there in New York like a scene like this too or are you unique with your work? Yeah, definitely. There's a bunch of different scenes um, in New York. Uh, you know, there's there's plenty. There's there's some are a little more focused in maybe Latin music. Some are more focused in just Balkan music. You know, but uh, people playing with their roots would say. Yeah, definitely, and and really getting involved like deeper in the one style. And then there's some like like us that mash it all up, and you know. So I didn't, I didn't ask you, I asked you before, before the camera was on, where are you from, where are your parents from? I'm from New York, um, grew up in New York, my parents are from uh, New York as well, Harlem and Queens, like straight New Yorkers, and my um, grandparents come from South Italy. South Italy, and, and that's where you're, you got a station too, on your Europe tour, isn't it? Yeah, first time, so it's exciting to, to, to finally go there. I've, I've been, you know, definitely hoping for this to happen one day because I like the food so much, so I, <laughs> I, I was waiting for someone to finally invite me, you know, for a pizza, <laughs> Napolitana. <laughs> But I've actually been to Napoli once to DJ. I have a friend called Polo. He's in a hip hop group called La Familia. He's like kind of the most famous from the South. And they invited us once to play there and, and it was fun actually. It was, it was really nice to be in Napoli and see, you know, my whole life growing up with uh, people from South Italy, but in New York. Yeah. And to see how really amazing, how funny and closely related they are, not knowing because half of the, almost none of the people I know in New York have ever even been back to Napoli but they're so similar and so in so many ways and it's it's uh it was great to see that and also great to eat there because the food was like on a whole nother level you know yeah. <laughs> I won't come with you <laughs> just eating something go back <laughs> yeah and what what you're going to do um, tomorrow you're going to France and today have you got any plans for Berlin um, But no, I'm gonna get my my passport back from the Russian embassy, and uh, that's why the Russian embassy. You can talk about it. <laughs> yeah, I gotta. Um, um, I've been invited to travel with a uh, a group from Los Angeles called the Do Over. The Do Over is this like really famous party that happens uh, in Los Angeles, where they don't announce the guests. They just have the party and guaranteed it's gonna be someone you really want to see. And it's 
it's become really big and they've now taken it worldwide and and they asked me to come along with them to to uh, Moscow um, Stockholm Paris and London and uh, during this trip which is great so I had to like arrive in Berlin and send my passport to the Russian embassy while I was going to Fusion Festival it was kind of a something I wouldn't do in New York at no way but here it seemed okay to do so we did and it worked and you know <laughs> yeah, they are our neighbors some like <laughs> yeah yeah and uh so you get another project so you get another party project uh going on when why you're here how long do you stay here in europe for about a month and a half so why you're here you don't get this a lot of uh dj sets to do yeah a couple of couple of dj sets and Mostly, like during the week, it's it's more or less just getting places and hanging out with friends, you know, meeting up with people in different places. Um, I also work on this project called the Global Minute. It's a it's a hip hop project that we started in New York, <clears throat> and then we uh, it's me and a friend who's a painter, and he makes videos out of his paintings and of the city, and of the MCs we we uh, record. So it's a you know it's a multi dimensional project. And we started in New York. We went to Beirut after that. We recorded four MCs from Beirut. And then uh, filmed and did the, you know, artwork and finished that project. We took it, which is the shirt right here. Beirut. The Beirut Minute. And then uh, we took it to Tokyo and then to Cairo. I was in Cairo last, you know, I'm losing track of the time, uh, March. And re recording some MCs in Cairo, and uh, we're gonna film at another time. We weren't able to film this trip, so this is also kind of uh, when I'm traveling to cities. I'm also thinking in this way of making the right connections for MCs and videographers and uh, artists. Like, yeah, yeah, mainly hip hop. Uh, sure, hip hop and house music and dance music. Yeah. It's quite here for me. It um, was very nice, very nice breakfast. It's uh, very nice weather. And yeah, I hope to see you again. You told me that you will come back in Berlin. Maybe we can have a session together or like this, or we can have you on a block ruban party or something. Yeah. Um, yeah, what, what did it here in Berlin, did you go out at this? I this, uh, would like to know that. Uh, no, just just went to a club, you know, a, like a techno house club, which is important for me to see. Is to see, you go, uh, you hear about Berlin club culture all over the world, obviously, and yeah, yeah, sure, it's, it's really good techno house scene, and and uh, you know, it, it lived up to its its reputation. It had an amazing sound system, and. A lot less rules, of course, in the, than most places uh, we go. So that was really nice to see. And uh, yeah, of course, I didn't recognize almost any songs. So I like that too. <laughs> you know, yeah, all new stuff. So you know, it definitely was a good experience. Yeah. So you come back, and I'm very happy that you to uh, have an interview with you was very spontaneous and yeah and I'm so glad and yeah do you want to say something to our viewers um yeah just maybe if you want to check out some music uh, go to the website nicodemus.com and uh, there's also a SoundCloud page which is Nicodemus NYC and Wonder Wheel recordings and you can find tons of uh, of music to, to listen to or even buy or free download there's, there's plenty of options and all styles everything from house to funk to uh, you know middle eastern sounds to dub to latin and hip-hop i mean it goes all over so you know just go there with an open mind and and have fun with it all right so our readers are open-minded so i can tell thank you very much it was a pleasure okay bye bye <laughs>